This six-month-old terrapin is half the size of its sibling. It has two large ear abscesses, causing pain or difficulties in swallowing. Hence, the terrapin did not thrive well in its living environment. Thankfully, the vet has successfully lanced its ear abscesses two days ago. Today, we'll be looking at post-operation advices for terrapin with two ear abscesses. Now, the abscesses of this terrapin are uh, taken up from the ear. Uh, uh, of course, it's uh, inside the ear and then uh, we cut it and then uh, take it out. Uh. Now, they was done about two years ago. I'm, I'm going to give you all these actually. Ah, oh, you're going to give it to me? I mean, uh, you want to take a photo? Okay, I'll take. just take a photo of you. Okay, so take first. So, uh, so this is hanging over. So this is a hanging over period. So I will show the one, uh, uh, the ear first. Okay, shush. Now, this therapy is very clever. Mm. It doesn't come up, you know, because I think it, it knows. Uh, uh, so the owner will see the therapy in years, but uh, she's so clever, she would take a long time to come up. Anyway, I took some pictures of it. So now going home, first of all, uh, you have this this uh, container, right? Or similar, you have, right? Mm, yes. And you place two terrapins together last time. Yeah. And with the plants and, and, and a lot of soil inside, right? Or what? Just plants. Plants, water plants yeah. uh, These are water plants from the fish, right? Mm. So now, for this terrapin, you separate from the other terrapin first. Uh, and uh, you, you can place some water there, but at the, at the level, you know, there's a ram, a slope there. Okay. So that when he, when he wants to eat, he goes there, you know, he just come out again. And this water to be changed every day, you know. Normally we just give three pieces here, I don't know, sometimes you give more. Mm -hmm. Then uh, every day change water. Uh, then uh, the other thing is uh, separating from the other one. The other one is quite big. How big is it? Oh, double very big actually. I saw double the size. Or maybe you send me an image later. Oh, yeah. Okay. And it was originally so small, right? Yeah, they were both the same size. Okay, so this one, could, could the other one be bullying this one? Uh, because sometimes two live together in the same time, right? Uh, they live at the same time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sometimes they bully, I mean the big one bully the small one. Uh, yeah. Animal species, even human beings, oh, yeah. to, uh, school also. Uh, even adults also, they bully each other sometimes. So, it uh, all depends on the personality of the other one, you know. Because uh, it bullies her uh, and then she then eat too much. Uh, just oh. uh, so, it didn't grow, but the shell is okay, the quality. Uh, now, uh, so water, water changes, huh? Mm. Uh, the food pellets, maybe just give three can, yeah. Okay. And then try some uh, shrimps, no? try shrimps from the pet shop. Uh, so that she doesn't become too fussy. No? So food, like uh, food, water, okay, clean water. Then number three will be a bit of sunlight. Just in the morning, just, just put outside to sun her. They will, they will encourage her to eat more. Because with the sun, they are more active in sunlight. Is she in the aircon room? Or? No. No. Uh, okay, then uh, probably don't your, your is it the niece? Pick her up and then the niece likes to pick her up, right? Yeah. And then put in, pick her up, put her in, right? Yeah. <laughs> so now she has this uh, <coughs> fear, you see, of, of hiding under the shell. <coughs> Normally they are very active, you know. They don't hide under the shell, okay. Uh, so she's, she's afraid that she might be dropped or something. Uh. Okay, this is the food, actually. She always hide here. Huh? <coughs> <coughs> Other than that, I can go home already. I, I got a clean the thing first. Huh? I got the clean the thing first. Okay, let's show you. This is the plant sheet. The, the, the therapy always hides underneath, right? Yeah. Hide, hide, hide under the plant. And uh, although you can't see, there's probably a lot of bacteria in, in the roots and all the plant. Huh? You can't see. Take a, take a snap, snap picture, image. Huh? No, why uh, it's uh, recording? Huh? Mm, you can see press. Okay. Press, press. There's a lot of bacteria, you know, mm. uh, in this plant. And uh, normally, how, how often you change the plants, uh, or you don't? Mm, not really. Mm. Normally, they, they, they don't die like the plants. They don't really die. But they eat the plants. Is it? They will chew the leaves. Oh, there's look, yeah, some of the ideas. So, but uh, you want to let them eat from a different thing, that, that is good, but 
for this terrapin, try to uh, give the plants without the roots. Huh? Oh, okay. Just so the roots. So it's clean. Huh? The roots are not a lot of bacteria. Huh? The mm. soil. This plant is from the soil, right? Uh, no, it's actually from the plant. From, from the pet shop, right? From a pond actually. Pond, uh. The pond got no soil. Mm. I mean the pond, which is outdoor, right? Yeah. Uh, to you, it looks clean, you know. But if you look at it, it's very dirty. I think she recovers the health, uh, because the other one is quite resistant. Right? Mm. You have a picture of the other one? In mm. the handphone? No, but I can send it to you. Uh, okay. I thought you had it. The one is huge. But uh, she's definitely more active. Huh? Yes. But it takes time to recover. Only a few stools. Only. You can see the stools in the. No, no, no. no. This is uh, this two days one. Eh? The stool normally they pass over right now. Uh, so it goes home, have a good rest, and peace, and quiet, and then. Uh, then uh, I hope she will burn a lot of weight huh? mm. and grow up the same size as the other one. Yeah. Just introduce some streams and other things. Huh? Okay. But every day change water. Okay. That should be okay. Ultimately, okay. terrapin owners should always maintain good hygiene and a clean environment for their pets to live in. Yeah. Only yeah. then would the pet be able to thrive in good health. Recently, we have heard from the owner that the left ear abscess has recurred. We have invited her back again for checkup.